Hello, welcome back to another edition of the Daily Shave. I'm Melvin. Okay, so for today's shave, we're going with one of the best in the business, Sterling Soap Company. This scent happens to be Barbershop. Um, <clears throat> the brush for today is a 30 millimeter dogwood uh, this is called Seascape. So we're going to get to loading while I talk about the scent and sterling for a second. I don't need, I'm probably going to do just two passes because I don't have much growth. Take a day, maybe two. Um, so now. <clears throat> A couple of videos back, I did a little review on another soap, and I said that it didn't smell like a barbershop scent. Um, and this Sterling soap is another soap that doesn't smell like a barbershop scent, even though it's labeled barbershop now let me explain what I mean by that so when I think of a barbershop scent I think of club Punan let's see if club Punan or how you pronounce that damn name club man when I think of a barbershop scent I think of Club Man. When I walk into my barber shop, that's what it smells like. So whenever somebody comes out with a barber shop scent, for some reason I have a bad habit of referencing everything to Club Man because that's a classic barber shop scent to me. Um, not to say that every artisan can't put a special twist on their take of a barbershop scent. But I want you guys to know what I think a barbershop scent should smell like. That doesn't mean a barbershop scent should smell like that for everyone. That's my take on it. Sterling soaps it doesn't take much to get a great lather with Sterling. To be honest with you, this was one of my this was one of the first artisans that I truly, truly fell in love with. Um, look at this. It's just exploding. how much lather I made and I wasn't even lathering for five minutes crazy look at that Sterling Soaps is one of the first companies that I truly 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 fell in love with my razor for today is the Paragon uh, Diamond I think they call this um and I'll tell you why. Number one is Sterling Soap, Co Soap Company is run by Rod and Mandy. Um, some of the nicest people, some of the nicest people in the wet shaving world. To top it all off, they make an absolutely incredible soap. It's consistent. They offer God knows how many different type of scents. They, they have to have at least 
I'm just gonna throw a conservative number out there. Maybe maybe 70 different scents to choose from. And the best price point in the business. You're getting six, no, I'm sorry, five point eight ounces of soap for like I think it's anywhere between twelve to fourteen dollars depending on the scent. They they always remain very consistent with their pricing. And even their aftershaves are, are very, very, very well priced. Yes, my thoughts on this video are all over the place. I started with one thing and I turned into something else. So now the scent on this is supposed to be barbershop, right? It is not my, as I shared with you guys, it's not what I consider a traditional barbershop scent. To me, it has hints of tobacco and vanilla. Very, very, very subtle hints of tobacco and vanilla. But it is a great scent. Very, very, very nice scent. I'll be honest, I don't think um, Sterling Soaps makes too many soaps that I didn't really like. Some of them may be a little lighter scented than others. Uh, but then again, that, that being said, some of them are very heavily scented. I'll give you an example, Texas on Fire. Probably, probably one of the strongest soaps that I've ever smelled in my life. It actually smells like a real campfire. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna do another little pass here against the grain. Lather for days. I don't think there's a soap company in the business that puts out 5.8 ounces of soap. I think like the industry standard now is it is closer to 4 ounces. So 5.8 ounces of soap for like I shared with you anywhere between um, 12 to $14 is, is really, really good. So a tub of soap will last you probably forever. This razor was an exclusive razor with West Coast Shaving. And you're talking about a razor that's smooth, efficient. Great feedback. I love razors that give you a real audible feedback. Another good razor for that is the R41, which everybody swears is the most aggressive razor on the planet. I don't feel like that. I believe what's aggressive is your hand. You know, if you press, if you press hard enough with your hand, with any razor, you're gonna make the razor aggressive.
Another thing I'll share with you about Sterling Soap Company that I realized over the years from being in wet shaving for as long as I have now, I think it may be going on six years or something like that, that I've been in the hobby. Is it going to bleed? I don't know. So something I'll share with you about Sterling Soap Company that I noticed about other companies, but I won't mention no names because it's not cool. And I, for those of you that know me know I really don't get down like that. So, you know, a lot of people say, you know, do soaps, do soaps go bad? You know, like if you, if you um, have a soap for many, many years, does it go bad? Um, and I can tell you from ex first-hand experience that if you rinse out the soap, I'm gonna show you what I mean, right? Let me just rinse out this brush a little bit and I'll show you what I mean. Sometimes the best way, sometimes the best way to rinse off a puck of soap is when you finish with your brush and the soap, swirl it under the water so this way you can clean it up, possibly get a little bit of the hair out of the tub if you had a brush that, that loosen, you know, loses one or two hairs. Look, I did cut myself. Saw that coming. But swirl the soap, the brush under the soap for a couple of seconds just to get off the white patches. And then store it. See how clean it came out now? Store it upside down. I have a rag here that I store the soap upside down for like two or three hours. Then I'll come back and I'll turn it right side up so it dries off the puck. Never store your soap wet because it, 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 um, promotes mold and mildew and stuff like that but what I'm that wasn't actually what I was trying to get at what I was trying to get at is that a lot of soap companies out there when you have the soap for I don't know two or three months and when you initially smell the soap it's gonna smell one way and I use soaps and I have stored soaps away that I smell them now and then I open them up in two or three months from now and I smell them again they lost the scent completely and yes I've la yes I've lathered the soap and um, it just loses its scent completely loses its scent um, that doesn't happen with sterling soaps I can tell you firsthand that I have some sterling soaps that I've had for years and and I and I store them properly and when I open them up after two or three years they smell exactly the same way they smelled when I first bought them. That says a lot. So again you're getting you're getting a great 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 soap at a great price point. Um, you can't ask for no more than that. Very consistent soap, consistent company, and great people. So, one second, I'm just going to rinse off this brush. So, always do the same routine. Take out as much of the soap as possible. Today we're going with matching aftershave. This has menthol in it. When I first got into wet shaving, I used to love mentholated stuff. Now that I've been into it for a little while, 
I'm not so crazy about mentholated stuff the way I used to be. I still have quite a number of products that have it in it, but now when I purchase stuff, I really don't purchase anything with, with menthol in it. I don't know, maybe just my, my taste. Now, my taste has changed. Now, the aftershave definitely smells a lot more barbershop. My take on barbershop, you know, E, <laughs> barbershop E, I guess. Myself a little bit. Perfect complement to the soap. And the menthol is not overbearing. It's nothing that, you know. So. And that's it. So, to recap, today we went with Sterling. Barbershop soap again Like as I expressed with you guys at the very beginning not my take on a traditional barbershop scent But nonetheless a great great soap the matching aftershave um, Dogwood Seascape 30 millimeter Just a gorgeous gorgeous brush very different and the Paragon diamond made for west coast shaving super smooth razor with a Voshkod blade in it so guys thank you very much for joining me again on another daily shave and until next time thanks for joining us and uh, see you soon